wish my hair was curly. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I have this holiday look for you guys. This is my candy cane liner that I did on Instagram and so many of you guys requested this look. I asked to do this tutorial on Facebook, Instagram, and also on Snapchat, even on Twitter and I decided to go ahead and do this for you guys. So I did everything the same except my lips. I just did a nude lip rather than a red lip just because I'm going to work and I don't want to be, I mean I want to be festive but I don't want to be like too out there. You know, I don't want to bring too much attention to myself because my eyes are already like Phew. red lipsticks to use is definitely the ColourPop ribbon from the Hello Kitty collection. This is a really, really pretty red. It has blue undertones, but it's such a rich red and it's just like a true red. Another, especially, but this is a limited edition one, so if you don't have it, it's hard to get it. But if you want to have a really, really pretty red, I recommend the Always Red from the Sephora collection. It is a lip stain and it is hydrating so it will not dry out your lips. Such a great collection from Sephora. I have it somewhere in my room. I just cannot find it. But And I was going to use that one because it's such a true red, but I just can't find it. So, enough of me rambling. Let's get into this video, but beforehand, let's go ahead and give this video a thumbs up. As well, subscribe down below, and we're off! Woo! Ho, 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 where my hoes at? No? Okay. Hey everyone, welcome back. So we're going to be doing this look today on this eye. And we're going to take the Jaclyn Hill palette with this color with any fluffy brush. And we're going to go ahead and pop that into the crease and bring it up a little bit towards the brow bone just to kind of make the eye pop out a little bit, especially for that white liner that we're going to be using, which is from NYX. I'm not sure the exact price, but it's a great cheap alternative. It's about 6 or $7. And so we're going to start off with our winged liner. We're going to make that flip flick of the wrist you know what i'm saying y'all flick of the wrist flick of the wrist <laughs> sorry anyways we're gonna go ahead and build that line that winged liner and we're just gonna kind of make it a little bit thicker than we normally would make our wing liner obviously so it's gonna be easier for the red liner that we'll be using to create the candy cane effect on those so what I'm doing is I'm kind of building it a little bit towards my crease just because from if you can see the space from my lid to my crease isn't that much and this is just going to create a nice effect for mine so kind of looks like the candy cane will be somewhat of a eyeshadow looking thing but next we're going to take the vivid brights in vivid fire this is a somewhat of a red and it's a little bit off, but it'll work for this look, especially with that white back. And I'm sorry, for some reason, I thought my my skills were a little bit better when I was recording this. But it's a little bit messy, but it's okay. If you guys can see, I'm just doing single and thin lines and then doing thicker lines, if you can see that. So this is just going to really help create a more candy cane effect but in my other video or I'm sorry my other in my pictures I just did single lines instead of doing the double like this this is just going to really help create that actual candy cane effect wow I am so sorry I was not paying attention I was just trying to get all of that in there for you but as you can see I'm just going back in and just filling in those lines and I'm even going to go back with the white liner just to kind of correct some of the lines and just clean them up a little bit For, we're going to be using the Coastal Scents 252 palette and taking this green shade right here. Guys, this palette is amazing. There's 252 colors. The pans are a little bit small, but that's okay because you get so many colors out of this. So I'm just taking any domed small brush from Morphe and just kind of packing that into the inner corner. Oh, there's an booger. And we're just kind of blending that in. back in with the Jaclyn Hill palette we're going to be taking this burgundy shade and taking a flat brush and just popping that into the lower lash line to create a small drop shadow we don't want too much of it just to, to take away from the liner that we have on the lids and again we're just going to go ahead and pop that in there and just kind of blend it out to give it a smoky effect 
So I want my eyes to pop out a bit, so we're taking this jumbo pencil from NYX in Milk and popping that onto the waterline. I'm using my brush to bring down my eyes just because I don't want to use my finger because the heat of it is going to, you know, move the foundation and powder. So what I'm doing right now is just taking a mascara with a little fan brush and just kind of getting all the color off those lashes because of the liner. Since so I'm using the lashes in Glamazon from Boulevard Beauty. And guys, I don't know what happened right there, but I'm using the glitter from Eye Candy in Winter Wonderland. It's an iridescent looking glitter, so it's not going to really show um, just straight white, but it'll go through any color like it is right here. And I'm just popping that into the inner corner. And look guys, it looks freaking gorgeous because what's Christmas makeup without glitter, right? And we're going to pop on a lip. This is the Kat Von D Bow and Arrow Liquid Lipstick. Guys, in love with this color. And that pretty much sums up the look of the day. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I know it was short and kind of weird, but here it is. So that was the end of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed it because I know I had fun doing this. And the only thing I just hate about having like different liners that it gets on my lashes. And it's so hard to like do it. Like, ah. Uh, but I will see you guys on my next video. Bye, guys.